healing modern society through traditional arts. C. Hing Donovan believes that martial arts can be the ingredient to create greater mindfulness. I know firsthand how powerful traditional arts can be because my experience with it has completely transformed my life. As a child, I thought there was something wrong with me. I was sensitive and our society perceives this as weakness. So I was picked on and had no confidence. I would practice art and music, but I always had this fascination with the Chinese culture. You look at their history, and art to them isn't just a little activity or a hobby, but a way of life. For thousands of years, the traditional arts of China are methods of self-mastery that are intrinsic to daily life. So when I started learning these arts, everything changed. The development that I experienced completely surpassed my expectations. Now, it wasn't easy, but what has real value never is. My master handed me the tool and said, you go sharpen it. So I knew what I needed to do. There's a saying in China, if you learn, you must teach. Now having the opportunity to teach has put me in an amazing position to help others so that they can enrich themselves as I have through the ancient arts of Kung Fu, Tai Chi, Qigong, and calligraphy. And I've actually become a disciple of my school's 2,000 year old pure lineage, a rare jewel indeed, which means I have a responsibility not only to preserve, but to transmit these ancient teachings so it remains a living art and doesn't fall into extinction. But when you hear the words martial arts, what pops into your head? Bruce Lee? Kung Fu Panda? <laughs> the two little words, Kung Fu, translated literally means a great skill acquired through hard work for a long period of time. Now, did it say anything about fighting? No. no. So think of a skill that you've worked hard for, whether it's being a great teacher, parent, doctor, musician, painter, whatever. You could say, I have Kung Fu. Now, teaching calligraphy to my younger students invigorates focus, self-control, and an appreciation of detail. Now, the beauty of this art is also Kung Fu at its best. The characters in the Chinese language offer insight to the philosophy of their culture as revealed through their legacy of renowned scholars such as Lao Tzu and Confucius. My fellow disciple, he's studying acupuncture, which although is a medical art, it's approached holistically and is not separate from the art of living. There is a very common misconception that the martial arts are only about fighting. Yet the fighting aspect is actually the lower goal. The higher focus is the refinement of consciousness. I mean, there is already enough violence in the world. With the overwhelming dehumanization of our species, it is imperative that we regain balance, humanism, and integrity. Art has been documented to improve test scores, critical thinking skills, improve self-esteem, and self-expression. Now, whenever there are budget cuts in our public education system, the arts are the first to go, which are directly related to increased dropout and suicide rates. Since children are the future, without art, our future is bleak. Now, our after-school program is run by a nonprofit agency called Heroes Unite. And in this program, we utilize the traditional arts to not only make great students, but more importantly, we develop character and invigorate the seeking spirit essential for leaders for the future. So with that being said, you can understand why I take my work very seriously. Involvement with the community isn't just compassionate, it's my responsibility. And it's your responsibility also. I have students that are as young as four, and I have a student that will be 102 in May, who's doing great, by the way. <laughs> to me, there's nothing more beautiful than seeing the development of self-esteem and discipline required for children to excel in school or seeing how those with disabilities like Parkinson's, arthritis, cancer, and multiple sclerosis not only improve their health, but the quality of their life through the endless benefits of these ancient arts. 
When you incorporate the traditional arts into your lifestyle, you will have the power to heal yourself inside and out, mind, body, and spirit. Every individual has the ability to transform themselves as I did, so it's up to you. And with that sense of self-mastery, you will find yourself in the position of leadership, capable of helping those people around you one by one, which can heal our modern society and make the world a better place. Because I want to. A journey. John's question as to why he danced.